see what kind of damage we can do on the, the wacky rig. I feel like it's just going to be instantaneous. There's one. First cast with it. Oh, are you bigger? See if we can get one. Doesn't come off. Welcome back everybody. So it's been a while since we've taken the kayak out onto some uncharted waters. So figured might as well do that today. It's a little bit windier than I was hoping for, but it's gorgeous besides that. So we're going to go out onto a new lake, hopefully find some fish and see if it's a lake that we want to fish a little bit more seriously or spend more time at. Um, anytime I'm fishing a new lake, I fish obviously with like my confidence baits, which are usually much smaller. I'm not usually using big swim baits or anything else like that. Uh, the water is relatively clear. Um, there's a little bit of wind. So with that being said, I'll probably use um, a spinner bait. Uh, I'll usually have either a jig or a frog tied on and then always have a spinning rod and I usually have like a, a shaky head or a wacky rig or uh, something of that sort. A little bit more finesse to see if we can't catch some of those fish. And you know, if they're smaller fish, they'll most certainly bite that. So that's the goal for today. Um, that's what we're going to start off with and see if we can't get into a couple. Let's get after it. Like I said, it is quite windy, but <clears throat> we'll fish the protected side of the lake first. And then hopefully we find some fish over there. And if not, we can kind of float our way back to where we parked. We'll at least have the hard part of paddling out of the way early. So should be easier from here on out. All right, made it to the other side. We are moving just about perfectly. I'm gonna start off with a, a spinner bait. It's a kind of sunny outside and the water clarity's not too bad. If it was a little bit worse or there wasn't sun, I'd probably end up throwing a chatter bait, but See if we can't get into a couple of fish. We are cruising down this shoreline just perfectly. There we go. Right next to the boat. Oh boy. Oh boy. Calm down, buddy. A bit right next to the boat. Little guy. Don't look too unhealthy. Let's see if we can get some more. This water is a little bit deeper than I thought it would be. I put the paddle down and wasn't able to touch the bottom, so it's well over five foot. And we had our first fish, so that's good too. Came on the spinner bait. Bit incredibly close to the boat, so they're a little bit more off the shore than. I would have initially guessed, but Let's see if we can't catch this one with a wacky rig. He's got it. He's got him. Little gay. I was probably the one that tried to eat my frog twice Oop, and there he goes that was an awful land job should have just flipped him or something Let's see if we can't there's a couple in here assume there probably would be oh he's got it he's got him whoa all right through my plastic little guy tiny tiny little guy but that is why you throw a wacky rig so you can find out what's actually in here he doesn't look oh no oh, come on. Uh, second one third that we've had bite so far 
smallest one, but see if we can't, wonder if he's been caught before. There's nobody else on this lake right now, but let's let him go. And we'll have to get another wacky rig. We'll have to probably move a little bit too, because I don't, there's probably some big fish in here, but I feel like we're just gonna catch a lot of little ones, but we'll see. Got him? Oh, I had him for a second. He hit it as soon as I hit the water. Felt a little bit bigger, not much, but. Not a big one. They are. Oh, through it. Shoot. It's the second one. They're aerobatic. Oh, there's one. Got him. You bigger, you oh, spit it again. They are jumping like crazy. But I don't want them to bog down into the, the weeds too much. This place is loaded with them though. Oh, there's another one. Three casts. Let's see if we can't keep this one. Not let them spit it. Oh, every one jumps. Ooh. Not a big one again. This lake has to have some big ones for as healthy as the small ones look. It's not like they look like they all look malnourished or anything. It's only a matter of time. I had one every cast. Oh, there's one. Get him. Oh, you a little bit bigger? Doesn't feel bigger, but he's fighting harder. He's gonna jump. Don't do it. By the skin, and he threw my stick worm too. They're just absolutely loaded in that little spot. That's a little bit bigger, not much. We'll try and throw the jackhammer in there, see if we can't get something a little bit more substantial. Oh, oh, I had one, missed him. It's probably a small one too. Oh, as soon as I hit the water, he bit. These must be absolutely small fish. That one felt a little bit bigger. He hit harder, that's for sure. Oh, he threw it. They're just, they're aggressive, but they're just nipping at it. That was definitely a bigger fish though. Probably a, nah, probably a pound, pound and a half. Oh, oh I thought I had a fish. There, I got a fish. Stuck in some grass and got it out and there we go. He is, he's golden. Very yellowy colored. 
No, you, we just keep catching them. That's a little bit bigger. Jackhammer's definitely getting a little bit bigger of fish to bite, but not by much. I have to imagine there's some big ones in here, though. I haven't seen any bait. So that might be a not a great thing. Haven't seen any bluegills. Haven't seen any any other little minnows. Oh. Two bites on the same cast. I'm sure sure if we had our mini max back here we probably absolutely unload on these things a lot of them seem to be pretty small first frog fish of the year this cast oh blew up on it already missed it got it oh missed him Well, that's embarrassing. All right. Never tried to catch a frog fish out of a kayak. Oh, boiled on it. A little more difficult than I thought. There we go. It's a little bit better of a fish. First frog fish. Took two bites, but we got them. He ate that real well. There we go. Little guy. But he aggressive. There's got to be some big ones in here. There has got to be some big ones in here somewhere. Maybe not in this little pocket, even though this pocket is absolutely loaded with, there's another one. Oh, missed them. Gosh. Big ones are definitely getting a frog a little bit more. That was a little bit better of a fish. Let's see what kind of damage we can do on the, the wacky rig. I feel like it's just going to be instantaneous. There's one. First cast with it. What? Are you bigger? See if we can get one. Doesn't come off. No, he's not bigger. They are all just jump. Another little one. That one was hooked well, though. A little bit bigger than the the other ones i think coming a little bit further back here has got us a few more fish it's crazy how many fish are in this one little spot doesn't make sense i mean there have to be some big ones for us many are just here oh there's another one back to back that one's a real small one did he take my Wacky, did you take my stickworm too? He did. They were just tearing that thing up. I've never lost so many. I've never had to really use O-rings or anything else like that, but I've lost three so far. All right. We're down to my last, I think this is my last 4-inch one, then we'll have to upgrade to a 5-inch one, which should prevent some of the smaller ones from biting. And maybe get some bigger bites, if there are some bigger fish back in here. There we go. Do 
we go three for three in that little corner? I suspect we can. Ooh. Almost lost one on bad drag. Eat it. No, there's one in there. Maybe we should have cast it in a new spot. Oh, there. Oh, I had one. Oh, I got him. Oh, lost him. Well, we had three bites in a row. There's just so many in here. It's crazy. I don't even think it'd be much. Oh, there's one. Much of a challenge. They're so acrobatic. It's crazy. I've never seen every single fish jump so much. Another one. I don't think it'd be any problem at all to come out here and catch 50 or more. There's another one. Didn't even have to move it. It's just instantly on. How did you strip it away? He's barely hooked. There he goes. We touched him, it counts. Well, that's our last small one, so now we're gonna have to go to a bigger stick worm. Same color, but I just don't understand how they keep ripping it off so well. All right, bigger stick worm. Let's catch a bigger fish. Oh no, we're not gonna get a fish on this cast. So, back to our little lily pad bed. Oh, that's nice. Ow. Is that one better? Nope. Oh. oh. Holy cow. Every single one of these fish jump. That one at least stayed on. How many can, I mean... In this little cove, I'm sure there are plenty, but how many can sit in one tiny, tiny little area? Got it. He's got it. Stay out of my anchor. That's a little one. I am still not very good at landing these. Another one. I'm coming out here with live scope sometime. I'm sure there's some big ones in here somewhere. It might be a little bit more in the main lake or something, but just with the sheer population of bass, that's crazy. Oh, got another one. Oh, missed him. There's one. He, I don't know if he's bigger. He's fighting a little bit harder. No. Not really any bigger. About the same size. A little bit fatter though. They're all super healthy. So I mean there must be enough food in here. And in all honesty, if you get ended up with a four or five pound bass, I mean, they could just start mowing down the other bass if they wanted to. The 
as many, probably hundreds are in here. Got one. That one didn't really hit it all that well. Just dead weight for a second. That was a little bit better. It'll come off. Not much. He's maybe an inch or two longer. Oh, he's got a little thing on him. A little worm or something. Yeah, a little bit longer. Come back. Oh, there's one. That one hit it kind of well, but he's not big. He hit it pretty hard, but he was one of the smaller ones. Oh, and there goes my worm. Another one. I don't know what we're at right now. Definitely have to hit double digits. Oh, I tore it in right in half. Let's see if we can't salvage this. There's one. All right. Come on, buddy. My worm is in pieces. You shouldn't ever be able to catch fish on this, but he is. Oh, there's one. Got him. On the absolutely destroyed. Is that the best one? No. Well, not. Well, it's about the same length. Maybe, maybe a hair shorter. On this absolutely messed up Sanko. Not Sanko stickworm, but there's. We just keep catching them. We just keep catching them, so we'll probably end up uh, throwing a frog or something else. We're going to another spot. Uh, I think we'll save this for another day when we want to do a challenge of how many fish we can catch, but let's let him go and try something else. Oh, we caught this little one off this point. A tiny bit bigger, but not much, so we're... Oh my. All right. We're very consistent, I guess, as far as all the size goes so far. We are fishing middle of the day, so who knows, maybe getting a little bit closer to dusk, we, we might have a few bigger fish, but we're not gonna fish that much longer. So maybe windows are important here, but see if we can't catch a couple more before we end the day. Well, that is it for today. I don't know how many we caught, but we caught a fair number, especially for as short of a time as we were out here. Uh, this is what we bought the kayak for, exploring these little lakes. I guess this one's not too little, but exploring lakes that are a little bit more difficult to get to uh, before, you know, really committing and bringing in the mini boat and getting out here and finding out that it's not something that you're able to really fish at all. This lake was a little bit deeper than I had anticipated, so that's great. We might bring the mini boat out to do a little bit of a challenge to see how many fish we can actually catch out of this lake. Uh, I'm sure if we came in with a little bit smaller baits, I'm sure you would absolutely unload on them. Uh, and I'm sure there are probably some bigger ones in here too, so if we brought live scope, it might be a little bit easier to find contours and find where those bigger ones might be hiding but and also this is the first time that I used my anchor trolley uh, just with how much wind we're obviously getting right now uh, and it works so so well so everybody who commented that as far as a recommendation to customize the, the kayak I greatly appreciate that it was it's been a lifesaver today and worked really really well so but that is about it for today so as always if you guys like the video if you don't mind liking and if you want to see more videos like it if you wouldn't mind subscribing that'd be greatly appreciated also till the next one